This session is standardized work. Standardized work is the currently best known method, safest, most efficient, highest quality to accomplish the work. Current because standard work integrates Kaizen, which encourages small improvements. Best known implies there may be a better method found tomorrow. Thus, today's SW forms the base that is being challenged and improved constantly, forming a new base for future improvement to the new, currently, best method. What I have here is some uh, references. Obviously, this is an introduction. These are for you to study in more detail if you need it. So I've used, on purpose here, I've used the New Horizon Standardized Work by Martin and Bell, and they say a standard work is a foundation based on stability, the best method at the moment, and a basis for improvement. Now, the reason I use that book is he talks about three different types of standard work. Now, what we've been talking about so far is like a line that builds hundreds of thousands of like parts. That's pretty easy to work with, even like the one we did for uh, value stream mapping, left hand, right hand, there was a little change in there. But what happens if you have a, a line for your final product requires the integration, if you will, of this big thing and these five little things all have feed together and then come together as one final process. How does one figure the tech time of that operation? The flow and so forth. He addresses that in here. He goes right back. What is the definition of tech time? And he works it out. So he's done a lot of good work. He's also was a presenter, uh, Tim Martin was, in, in, uh, in January on the uh, value stream mapping, the gimbal walk and value stream mapping. Very good guy. Good close friend and also my lean bronze sensei. Now, the second one here is a Kaizen sketchbook by Mary Pat Cooper. We've talked about that before as a reference. She's the one that did the pathology lab, Kaizen, that we talked about before. But she says standard work is the use of stable, repeatable, direct, and unambiguous steps to achieve reliable output of process and superior quality. Standard work helps achieve your tech time, your pull, and one piece flow, which is what we talked about, our continuous flow and the VSM work. Okay, another reference here for the Kaizen is that Masaki Amaya. That's the one I stick to pretty closely. 25 years ago, he wrote the book Kaizen. That was Japan's competitive advantage against the Western world, was Kaizen. That was the Japanese unique input into this process. He also wrote a few years ago, Gimba Kaizen, the low cost management approach. And here recently, he's updated that to revision two. It's Gimba Kaizen, Kaizen or continuous improvement approach. This is out of his first book, Kaizen. Starting point for any improvement is knowing exactly where one stands. Well, that's what we found out in the BSM, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. We had to know what our line looked like before we could improve it. Same difference here. Each standard carries with it the following characteristics. A standard's a standard just in the good old standard to work by, right? Well. It gives you individual authorization to do the work and responsibility to do the work. It's a way of uh, transmitting experience to the next generation or the new generation of workers. There's a lot of stuff there. It's, it's in that standard, okay? Transmit experience and know-how to the rest of the organization. Well, did we ever think about that when we looked at a standard? That's just somebody's idea how they could time study us to death, right? Uh-huh, right. No, there's a lot more to it than that. Accumulation of organizational experience. That standard represents accumulation of all we've known to now. And deployment of know-how among workshops and disciplines. Why do we want to do standardized work? Because it's efficient. It's efficient. Let's review what we've learned so far. In our session on becoming a Kaizenier, that showed us we needed a standard process to make development of Kaizen ideas easier. In 5S, that's the old sort, shine, whatever, showed us that we needed standard processes to complete those steps, and posted visuals helped, right? Visual management showed us how to make problems visible, and we posted those standards on the walls of Gimba. 
And value stream mapping showed us, as we talked about before, we first needed to document what we have with all its warts and waste and everything else, but we had to know where we were before we could ever hope to improve it. The same is true with standard work. Well, now let's reinforce what we know, and let's play a nice little game called the standard pig exercise. Our friends at Cook Biotech has allowed us to use this with permission. They provide this fun little exercise to help us reinforce what we already know. All you need for the first step is a writing tool and a piece of what I'm going to give you in the next slide. I don't want you to draw me a standard pig. I'm not giving you much, am I? Blank sheet of paper. I showed you my first example. I didn't show you the final, so I didn't want you to... I better I can do a better tail. <laughs> I'm sure you can. <laughs> this is not much direction at all, is it? Standard pig. <laughs> Oh yeah, we want to sell these, so they have to be pretty close alike. Yeah. Yeah, right. Let me know when you have your masterpiece. Okay. Okay. How did that go for you? Not very really well. <laughs> okay. Didn't have a didn't have a clue, and I didn't give you much, did you? To start with. Okay. Let's move to the next step. And now then, on your piece of paper, draw you a little tic-tac-toe thingy like that. A couple horizontal lines and a couple vertical lines. Kind of gives you a little more in the middle than it does on each end. You got that? Mm -hmm. This next sheet, I'm going to provide you instructions what to do with that tic-tac-toe thing. And I'll give you about five minutes and see what you do with it. Take five minutes to read all that. <laughs> 13 steps. What do you mean? You can't read faster than that? Oh, it's a little bit tough. What it says up here, and I'll help you. Draw a letter M, a capital M, at the top left intersection on your tic-tac-toe sheet. Okay, so you've got, you've got your lines and you've got your vertical lines at the upper left one over here. Put you a capital M and make sure the center of the M touches the intersection where the two lines cross at the top left corner of that. So that's your leftmost vertical and, and your top horizontal line where they meet, right? Now, number two, draw a W at the bottom left intersection, right below that M only down the next line, and make sure the top center of the W touches the intersection. Follow me so far? Now, number three is draw another letter W, just like the one you drew in two, but at the bottom right intersection with the top of the W touching the intersection. Follow me so far? Mm -hmm. Got those three pieces on there, yes? Yeah, I got four on there. On four, you draw an arc from the center of the letter M in the top left to the top right intersection. Okay. Number five, draw you another arc from the top right intersection over here down to the bottom right W. Now, draw you an arc between the two bottom W's. In the center left box, in other words, over here is the left hand side, the center of those, draw you capital O in that middle of that center X box. That should get you through seven, right? Mm -hmm. Caught up there? Yeah. All right, number eight, draw an arc from the letter M to the tangent of the circle. From M to that circle you just drew in that center left box. And tangent means touching it or number nine, draw an arc from the left W down to bottom up to the tangent of that same circle. We got those pieces on there? Mm -hmm. Alright, so now then we want to draw an arc for the eye halfway between that M and the circle. So that's above the circle, halfway up towards the M. We draw a little arc in there, make the eye. Number 11, we want to draw an arc for the mouth, halfway between the W and the circle. Number 12, draw the cursive letter E near the top of the arc on the right hand side. 
Guess what that is? Tail. That's a tail. Yeah. And finally, 13, draw two dots in the middle of the circle for the pig's nostrils. How did that go for you? <laughs> mm, I think mine looks a little better. <laughs> yeah, fun, huh? This is supposed to be fun, but you're also getting the idea that from, from your original thing, you had no directions whatsoever, now you've got a few directions. Yes? Maybe you got the start of something here. Okay, let's add this guy in. This is what you drew. What helps you the most? Blank sheet of paper? This is what you're supposed to draw here. So what, how does your pig that you drew with those directions, see here? We got our M. We got our M. We got our R. We got our W's. Those are the feet. We got our arc here and arc here. We got a tail. That's a cursive E out there. That's the tail. We draw this arc, this arc, up to the circle. We drew a mouth, we drew an eye, we drew nostrils. Voila, standard pig. <laughs> That's a fun little game, but, it, but, it, but you're also learning the point. Now, let's review. Which helped you the most? The second most. Well, I would imagine the standard visual, the posted standard visual, or the picture, yes? And the second most might be the instructions. And maybe the tic-tac-toe sheet to give you some frame of reference to draw it in, right? Mm -hmm. What did you learn from this? We need standard work instructions. And it helps if we post a visual to show you where we want to end up. So you can interpret those instructions, and it's nice to have the tic-tac-toe or something sheet, something to start with, yes? Do you have a better appreciation of the need for standard work now? Okay, we referenced it in some areas, but yes, we need standard work. It is the best known method currently to do the work. We may want to improve on it, because that's definitely not ideal even there. Mm -hmm. But at least it's a lot better when we, when we start with a blank sheet of paper, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's the pitch on standard work.